Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to tell you how to get Keystrokes mod inside your T-Launcher 1.8.9 So the first thing that you need to do is go into the description, you will find a link and it will bring you to this page After coming onto this page, you will see a lot of links over here So you need to click on the first link which is for 1.8.9 After you click on it, the download pop-up should appear And I'm just going to save it onto my desktop and I recommend you to save it on your desktop too after your file has been downloaded, it should look something like this. For doing that, what you need to do is you need to open up your T Launcher, and here in T Launcher, you need to select the version Forge Optifine 1.8.9. After selecting Forge Optifine 1.8.9, what you need to do is you need to select this little folder icon right here. After clicking on it, this folder should appear, and here in the folder, what you need to do is you need to find the mods folder. And after finding the mods folder, you need to open the folder. And here in this folder, what you need to do is you need to drag this keystrokes file inside this folder. After doing that, you just need to close this folder. After that is done, you just need to enter the game. After opening Minecraft, you may enter a survival world or you may enter a multiplayer server. After coming into your single player world or a multiplayer server, what you need to do is you need to open up chat and you need to type in slash keystrokes. After doing that, these many options should pop up and here you just need to turn this on. After doing that, keystrokes should appear in your top left corner and here you have a bunch of editing options. You can adjust the scale and if you want them in RGB, you just need to flick this on. If you don't want them to be RGB and you want them to be a specific color, what you can do is you can turn the chroma off and here in edit key colors, you can adjust the values of red, green and blues to get the perfect color for your keystrokes. I'm gonna switch them back to RGB because I like it more. Here you also have bunch of other options such as showing your sneak button, showing your space bar, also showing your ping. You can also toggle the FPS on and off. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please make sure to like this video and also subscribe to my channel. That's it. Bye bye.